Time now for Dollars and Cents, where I answer your money questions and help you navigate a changing economy. We're more than halfway through 2024. I have a question for you. How do you feel about your spending? If you feel the need to rein in your budget, embracing a trend called no buy year could be for you. I talked with a financial coach who explains the rules and how you could make it work for your money goals. In a world where spending money is easier and faster than ever, more people are choosing to slow down and spend less. So many are embracing a no-buy year. A no-buy year is a choice. So it's a plan for 12 months where you would commit to only spending money on things that were absolute needs. Needs can include your housing payment, utility bills, and food. A no-buy year means not spending on extras beyond your needs. It will help us slow down the time between the impulse that we normally have to spend and the actual decision to spend. The rules are simple and you set them for yourself, totally customizable for your unique life situation. For example, let's say your weakness is buying new clothes just for fun or eating out every day at work. A no buy year could mean wearing only the clothes you already have and packing your own lunch for the work week. Someone who is a head of household and has children to provide for, maybe the no buy year only applies to the adult in the family and not necessarily the children. So there's some life factors that need to go into the decision making. By doing a no buy year, Paley says you may notice a lot of your spending is on autopilot, so to speak. Do you truly need it? This type of commitment helps you take the time to really slow down and really investigate what your true needs are. A no buy year has its challenges and rewards for sure. So before you dive in, try going online and search for people telling their stories and their experiences of a no buy year. Some models are more strict than others, but it's really all about you and what you're comfortable with. And you know what, Chris, you can save a lot in a year. I was gonna say though, <laughs> a year is a long time. Right, and a lot can happen <laughs> in a year, right? So if you don't feel ready to commit for this challenge for a whole year, maybe just try a month, you know, 30 days, a week, whatever, and just see where that takes you.